Okay, let's look at the difference between a shape and a symbol inside of Flash. I'm going to start with a shape, so I'm going to just use, use my design tools over here on the right and draw and just a little small little over, oval here. Use my selection tool, kind of move this down over to the uh, left hand side, and this is essentially a shape. I select my properties panel and it shows me my regular position and size, fill and stroke. I can come in here and modify the color to, uh, to anything that I want. I can change the uh, stroke, um, you know, add a stroke color, whatever it is that I, I want to choose. Now, this selects and it says shape up here in my library. I'm going to go, or in my properties panel, I'm going to go to my library here and Flash allows us to create three main types of symbols. I'm going to create a graphic symbol which is going to look identical to this one here. And I'm going to keep everything the same, but I'm going to keep, give it a name for myself. Just name to circle. Click OK. Brings me outside of my main timeline into my edit mode here. Circle edit mode. Pay very close attention to this inside of Flash. Otherwise, you're going to create really problems for yourself if you're not sure where your, where your edit mode is. So I'm going to paste this circle directly inside of Flash come back out to my main scene. Notice what happens. This does not show up here. Does not show up here. In order for it to show up, I have to go into my library, have to drag it onto the stage, and now I really see the difference here. Go back to my properties panel. I click on the symbol. It shows me it's a graphic symbol and the icon there but I do not have the same editability as I do here with my shape. This is what I have on my stage. This is what I have on my shape. Now another thing, another different lies in the way it's used. I can create what they call instances of my symbol inside of Flash. Create some copies over here. Create some copies over here. I double click on here on the graphic. I go and modify this to a different color. Like magic, all of the instances are now changed. So I change one, these two instances of my main graphic symbol here are modified. Now if I wanted to just change one of these, I have to break this apart, making it do a shape, or I can modify some styles here individually but I can only modify those styles. Now I can't go into here like my shape and just on the whim just change the color of that uh, of that item. I have to be controlled within my styles. I can change the tint here if I want stuff like that. So that's your main differences here inside of Flash between a shape that we've created here with our design tools and a symbol which we've used the um, little button down here in our library to create. Remember, editability is a main difference as well as how they're used inside of Flash.